Hey, Hill. Hill here. Gaming. Alright, I've returned back here to this barrier tower. Down in the southernmost region, the barrier tower of Anonymous. I'm sure I'm butchering that. And this is uh, Sir Emil, who I tried to recruit. Follow me. I need your help. Ah, oh, wow, you've grown taller. Oh, it looks like he might actually be following me. All right, come on, let's go. Several souls are swirling in the tower. Would you like to merge your consciousness with them? Yes. <laughs> what? Moloch Ball. And no Sir Emil. Oh well. And I don't seem to be able to interact with Molag Ball. But who slew him? It's the same sword that I saw under Stendar's beacon. And who might you be? What an interesting visitor. Indeed. Coming directly through the belly of the lizard. You don't belong here. I feel the corruption in you. Perhaps you are not dangerous, but I can't let you go to her. At least her last walk should be done in peace. I don't know what purpose brought you here, but your sight is not for this world. If you mix yourself up with this time and place, you won't be able to leave. So go. Return where you came from. What? What just happened? It was like looking at a... an Elder Scroll. Sir Emil. You seem to want to follow me now. Did I look at this chest here? I don't think so. Force Bolt. Staggers and immobilizes the target. That's interesting. I'll learn it. Alright. I think I've finally got my first follow-up. Come on, let's go. So, I believe we're done here. Let me just look at the map. Alright, that was cleared up. I was told to leave. Sent packing. Alright, so the last spot, and then we have to go back here to the Sacramore Tower, is the Thoracian Apothecary. Quite odd to actually have a follower. All right, Sir Emil, consider this a test.
Right, you did quite well. Oh, I'm sorry we didn't team up earlier. All right, come on, we have a long way to go. you, Sakaius. And you, Atima. But in doing so, I've lost Sir Emil. But anyhow, here is my destination. barrier down, I should be able to complete my mission. Ah, oh, there you are, Sir Chaos. Alright, be on your guard. This is probably not going to be pretty. for an excellent distraction, sir. Flesh Blade of Sorrow. Nern's Origin Ring. Health regenerates. That's nice. St. Dulce's Nail. Go ahead and take that. Wait. What just happened? don't have the key. Bolug Ball. Funny meeting you here in prison. What? Are you? Inquisitor Pepe. Are you, Mara? To appear in the image of Alicia? Are you mocking us? Good. Stay silent. You have no right to speak as it is. Why in oblivion would you interfere with us now? Don't you know what will happen to you tomorrow? I was not informed who you are, and I don't care whether you truly are her or just her imitation. But tomorrow, you will be condemned and burned in the pyre. 
and those kissing your feet today will throw you on the fire tomorrow at my mere's jester. Are you aware of this? Yes, I think you are. Pepe. Look at the stone. Can you turn the stone into bread? Of course not. How you could know you? me, Pepe. Man shall not live by bread alone. Weren't those your words? And, as the Beshazzar's will, a Daedra rose up against you in the name of this bread. It can't have escaped you how the masses followed this Daedra in droves. Mundus is full of the starving. And it was them, shouting for bread and salvation, who tore down your tower. I'm sure you intended to raise a new one, but it's useless. You will not complete even the foundations of the Tower of Fate. If you had not tried to build a tower, you might have been able to alleviate the suffering of the people. But you did not. And what did the people do? They came to us, the Elysian Order, crying that the ones who promised to steal the heart of Shazar lied to them. If you truly are Mara, then accept this stone. Then its fires will fade, and this abominable tragedy will end. But you will not accept it. For one who denies the miracle also denies the Aedra. People would rather believe in the miracles than in the Aedra. So much so that they even create their own miracles, and would soon believe even in an inquisitor like me. You do not want to make people slaves to the miracle. Their freedom of faith is more important to you, was it not? Your love for the people was simply too deep. It would have been better if you hadn't loved them at all. They would not have to go hungry then. But neither your love nor their free will is important. Just this mystery, this stone. Even if every last living being has to betray their consciousness, they must submit to this stone. Elysian Order was created for this. So we had to rewrite your teachings. We built our tower on top of miracles, mystery, and authority. We released people from this freedom, this free will which can only bring them endless pain. And so, with the permission of the Elysian Order, we were compassionate to the weak, even despite their sins. Is this not proof of our love for the people? Pepe. I will ask you again. Why in oblivion did you come to disturb us? The stuff of the Aedra belongs to the Aedra. The stuff of the Emperor to the Emperor. With those words, you wanted to deny us the stone, am I right? This stone is our authority and earn, and we will never give it up. Even if we have to renounce you and worship a simple slave queen. Already, two thousand years passed since the Imga prophet found the stone in the dense jungles of Colovia. The tower has been waiting completion since then, but sooner or later, it will be completed. And then, everyone will live in bliss. Pepe. Why did you reject the stone if you wanted to give people hope? Could you not turn Mundus to paradise with it? You could have united everyone, masters and servants alike. Perhaps you couldn't do it, but we, the Elysian Order, can. With this stone, we will build a great empire, spanning across the entire continent. With this stone in our hands, our empire does not have to wait for the return of Shazar. Pepe, Mullen Ball is standing behind you. What I said will happen, and our empire will rise. And tomorrow, you will see the people flock to us, like the obedient sheep they are. At my sign, they will willingly place firewood at your feet, and you know why? because you tried to stop us. If there's anyone in Mundus who deserves to be burned on the pyre, uh, then it is you. T Tomorrow you will die. Th 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 then it, it will finally be over. Pepe, you're stammering. Go, go, don't come back. Never come back, never, never. Thank you, Inquisitor. And I see Molag Ball has fled as well.
All right, Inquisitor. I'll take my leave of you then. It's over, sir. It is quite over. Come, let's get out of here, and thank you for your assistance. You know, this, this entire ordeal would have been much simpler if I had you accompanying me from the very beginning. I've almost forgotten what it's like to work with another. Archaeus. I think we'll be taking our leave. I don't think there's any traveling out of here, but we'll, we'll try it. Hmm. Yes, let's see if we can go upwards. out at long last so I think there's only one last place it would be back here to Sanquamor Tower hmm there are enemies it's probably those slugs I mean uh leeches. Let's come up here. Still don't know what this tower... I think that's going to be the way out, I'm hoping. Alright. Let's try it now. Alright. I need to figure out what it will take to destroy Molag Bal once and for all. I found him wounded at the top of the tower. Let's think this out, sir. What can you tell me about Molag Bal and this tower? 